Good morning. It is day 55. Um, yesterday was a good day. I did just over 30 kilometers. Um, it was more not raining than raining, which is great. Um, and my legs were a little tired from the big effort the day before, um, but not too bad. And I got to spend the night at a, uh, a free hut provided by Skaskog, which was really nice. So I cranked the fire up and got nice and warm because um, it was quite cold all day. Um, today, feeling pretty good, though the, um, the original um, issue on my foot I'm just starting to feel it a little yesterday, um, so unfortunately it looks like that's going to be back. Um, today is really cold. Um, I think it's going to be another day, a mixture of rain, showers and the occasional glimpse of the sun. Um, but even out of the wind it's freezing cold once you get into the wind <laughs> yeah it feels like winter um, I pick up my resupply package in a couple of kilometers hopefully nothing has eaten it um, and then I've got a couple of days on tracks and then into the uh, Borgefell park where there's no tracks which I'm quite looking forward to so roughly five days until I get to my next rest stop. Um, but hopefully today will be a good time. So from the hut, the trail has been lovely because there's a heap of private cabins in this area. So I'm assuming they are the ones that are making these lovely trails to keep your feet dry. Hello. I'm being followed. <laughs> Bye. So I did not want to be standing at a road putting my thumb out, but unfortunately all that's left of my resupply package is a couple of bits of plastic. So some animal has gone into it. Um, unfortunately this road has almost no traffic so I think it's going to be a long day to get a hitch it's only 30 kilometers um, to a place with some supermarkets <laughs> it's gonna take a long time I've been here 20 minutes and there's been one car well it's 12 o'clock and I am back on trail um, getting into the town of Hajfell <laughs> I was getting worried in one hour there was four cars and I was just about to start walking. There's actually a town in Sweden about 10 kilometers away. So I was about to start walking when a car stopped. So I got a ride in with a Swedish guy to the town. Um, did a complete resupply because there was nothing left of that resupply package. Um, had a nice hot meal and then I was only not even 10 minutes and I got a ride back to the trail. Um, so only half a day lost trying to get a resupply. Um, so now I'm back on the trail. Um, and it's warmed up very slightly. This morning was seven degrees in the car taking me towards town and eight degrees according to the car bringing me back here. 
So it's not my imagination that it's cold. some boardwalk on this section so it's a little bit underwater but at least it's keeping me out of the mud Very good trail marking. <laughs> My name is Oste, um, I am 27 and I'm hiking uh, Norgeplatz from the whole way, not, not just stopping in, in between and um, I do it because I need, uh, I want to be in nature and I actually don't like the, the normal easy life so that's why I do it. Yeah. And I do it with him and that's Bison and he's 8 years old. Hi Bison! Hi! <laughs> 